What's going on everybody, Tyron Marine here. On deck today, we have an exclusive sneak peek at the settings options from the technical test of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game set to release this August. Now remember that all of these settings options are subject to change, but I don't really expect them to for the most part. So without further ado, buckle your seatbelts and let's dive right into this. Audio settings, we have the master voice effects, music, all the basic stuff with uh, voice chat, push to talk options. I typically like to set my music settings a little bit lower. Most of the time I turn them off completely, to be honest. But that's just me. On the other games that I play, I do it. Maybe not on this one. So this one we have the video settings. It's a breath of fresh air, to be honest. Coming from a game like Dead by Daylight where they don't have all of the options where you can change things individually, such as the anti-aliasing effects, foliage, post processing, shadows, textures, view distance, and V-Sync. You can't do that in those in-game settings. You can here, and it's amazing. On to the input settings, it's basic stuff. I'm not gonna get into it. Game, you can change your language. Uh, you can make player names anonymous. You can turn on subtitles, HUD visibility, vibration, and obviously crossplay. You can see it here. And that's awesome because they did announce it recently. Uh, as far as crossplay, we did see it in the tech test, so it's not a crazy surprise. I did see it in these settings during the tech test. So anyway, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe with notifications on, especially if you like this sort of content, as I will be creating a lot more Texas Chainsaw Massacre Dead by Daylight content on the channel to come. Have a good day. Don't forget to check out this video here. Peace out.